I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay tuned for a moment of silence. Good morning, Bears. It's Friday, March 3rd, 2017. I'm DeAndre. And I'm Megan. Stay tuned for what you need to know on this edition of LC Current. There will be a unified track and field meeting on Monday after school in the Perk. Anyone interested in competing as a unified athlete or interested in being a partner athlete should attend. Be part of a new tradition here at Lawrence Central. This is our inaugural season for unified track and field. Any students who is interested in becoming a boys track and field manager this year, please contact Coach Freytag in the PE area. If you already gave given Coach Freitag your name, please find him to get a season calendar and manager, manager responsibility sheet. LC football players, week four of morning throwdowns is Monday at 7 a.m. in the Fieldhouse. If you plan on playing football in 2017, make sure you are there. Bring athletic clothes and shoes. If getting a ride is an issue, ask a teammate or contact one of the football coaches. Go Bears! Any boy interested in track and field this year can still join the team. There is no cutoff date for joining and there are no tryouts. The boys track and field mission is to get committed young men better each and every day. If you are interested, meet in the field house after school for practice or find Coach Patterson, Coach Freitag, Coach Watts for more information. In order to participate, you must have a physical form on file. Be part of something special. Champions run track. Attention, any girls interested in playing softball this year, tryouts will start on Monday at 4 o'clock. Meet in the field house. You must have a physical on file. Any questions, contact Coach Corbett, Coach Carroll, or Coach Leonard. The LCPAA will present the 2017 Variety Pops tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. in the auditorium. Come out and see this variety show featuring our extremely talented students. This year, the audience will play a part on who wins our cash prizes. Tickets are now available in the Performing Arts Office. LC's prom is scheduled for April 22nd. You may pick up a permission slip from Ms. Swain if you would like to bring an outside guest. Lawrence Central's 2017 Junior Senior Prom presents Midnight in Mumbai, Saturday, April 22nd at the historic Indiana Roof Ballroom in downtown Indianapolis from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Ticket sales will begin Monday, March 13th. Early bird tickets will be available for $45 each week before spring break and then will increase to $50 each. Cost includes full course meal with dessert bar and late light snack. There will also be a henna tattoo artist, photo booth, and live DJ. Come out and experience the elegant culture of Mumbai. LC is hosting a Latino Family Night for the families from Lawrence Township. This event will be on Sunday from 8, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. The purpose of this event is to learn about immigration issues from the panel of experts, financial one support, FAFSA 21st century scholars, and how to support your child in the school and the importance of bilingual education. For more information or get a flyer with these information, please contact Ms. Tran, room 190, or Mr. Torres in room 192. Part of Lawrence Central's Positive Behavior Integration and Support Initiative, the Physical Education Department would like to recognize students who excelled in the month of February. The following students were nominated by their teachers to be recognized as Students of the Month. Caden Garnett, Health, Christopher Hopkins, and Anija Webster, Physical Education, Joshua Bumpus, Swimming, Jacob Coleman, Sydney Wayne, Amani Stuckley, and Abby Heelman, Athletics Weight Training, 
Byron Dilly and Jalen Reed, non-athletics weight training, Dio Alejo, PE leadership. Congratulations and keep up the good work. It's Riley Week. To show your support for LCDM, wear 2017 LCDM shirts today. Additionally, there will be an LCDM orientation and pep rally during G4. Please know that the orientation and pep rally is only for students who have already registered for a dance marathon. Students will only be allowed out of this class for this pep rally if they are pre-registered and are displaying their wristband. Thank you for all your help, and if you would like more information regarding Dance Marathon or would like to donate, please go to donate.rileykids.org slash LCDM17. LCDM is tomorrow night. Get pumped, and as always, for the kids. Today's vocabulary word is laconic, an adjective meaning using or involving the use of minimum of words, concise to the point of seeming rude or mysterious. Celebrity birthdays, Camila Cabello is 20. Jessica Biel is 35. Julie Bowen is 47. Ian Bate is 52. And Robert Gossett is 63. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your weekend, LC. Please stay tuned for this additional announcement. It was shortly after her first birthday that she began having severe intestinal issues. She was going up to eight to 10 times a day. It was painful watching her belly expand. It was test after test and was extremely frustrating. There was still no leads, nothing. Um, it was after that that he decided to refer Brielle to Dr. Steiner here at Riley's Children's Hospital. It was clear from day one that there was something uh, unique about the symptoms that Brielle was having and that she needed uh, much more in-depth evaluation. He was willing to do anything to find what was wrong with Brielle, and he did with her so to hear the words we found a mass it was almost exciting you know that we finally found something we finally got what we're looking for um, but never did I think the mass was cancer one of the things that really struck me was the way that the Riley team could work together so quickly and having uh, you know, three different physicians and three different specialties really look at the scans, talk, go over everything, and within an hour or two really come up with a game plan of how to manage this child. The day of surgery was one of the most anxiety-ridden days I've ever had in my life. We came to Riley Hospital and did not really know too much what to expect. I would say the most important person to me and Brielle and my husband um, that came in that day was the child life specialist. She took Brielle back into the OR and I never heard Brielle cry because of the child life specialist. That as a mother is an amazing feeling because as scared as I was, I didn't want her to be scared. And her symptoms really immediately stopped. There was so much hope given from the moment we walked into Dr. Steiner's office to the time we left. With each individual that works here at Riley Hospital, they all bring some kind of hope. And it's day by day, minute by minute, that you're with them, that you, that you see the hope. Brielle is exactly who she should have been in the first place. She's boisterous, she's hilarious. Anyone who gets around her smiles. The thought of people who are donating hundreds, thousands, millions of dollars to this hospital, it's just such a blessing to know that there are people out there that continue to raise funds for Riley Children's Hospital to give these children and their families the greatest care that they can possibly be given.